Hey there everyone, it's Hass here and today I just have a short video as there's a viral reddit post in the Splatoon subreddit about luring and I was told there's a few points that we should talk about here as they aren't fully correct. More specifically, more players should know about luring drizzlers and slamming lids as you very much can lure them and when possible, you should be luring them. These two bosses are generally left alone because they don't directly harm you, but on higher ranks both the Drizzlers and Slammin' Lids alone can completely decimate the whole shift with a few ink storms or if you didn't know, by Lid spawning a bunch of lesser Salmonids that your team might not have the time or power to splat in time. So when there's a bunch of new bosses spawning, the last thing you want to do is get hit by an ink storm on low health near the basket or get your splat bombs or your specials blocked by slamming lids when you're trying to respond to a newly spawned stinger or flyfish. Not to mention that if you're trying to deal with stingers and moths near the basket, you really don't like those new lesser salmon that's spawning from the nearby slamming lid. So how do these bosses work? Let's start with Drizzlers. Drizzlers when they spawn and in their lifetime will keep jumping on the stage, but those spots where they jump are not exactly random. This picture here will show you that Drizzlers actually have fixed spots on each stage where they can jump to, and which spot they choose depends on where the nearest player is, and whether there is someone close enough for them to shoot rockets. Now common misconception is that you shouldn't lure Drizzlers as they will shoot multiple rockets before they get close to you, but that is not true as if there is no player close by, Drizzlers will shoot no rockets and immediately jump closer and closer until someone is. So luring Drizzlers is very simple, you just stand back like with any other boss, learn the distance they react to and watch them jump right next to the basket where your team can split them easily and gather all the eggs without a problem. You can also very much do this during a shift with a more coordinated or prepared team as if everyone agrees there are too many drizzlers on the map, the team can actually retreat back behind the basket in the opposite direction to potentially lure drizzlers closer if it's a priority to get rid of them. Slumming lids are very similar as well, but they do get a lot peskier if they aren't lured well and will cause a lot of issues. The way slamming lids work is that when they spawn, they will move as close as possible to the nearest player and then stop, activate and start spawning salmonids. Once they stop, it takes a considerable amount of time for them to actually try to get closer to you if you move away. So contrary to Drizzlers, if you make a mistake with slamming lids, it's a lot harder to fix their luring, since they will immediately start causing problems and won't be moving for a long while. You can test this easily in the tutorial that you can lure them all the way back to the basket or into locations where you can immediately take care of them. And you should, as a badly positioned slamming lid is a huge pain in the butt for multiple reasons of blocking shots, splat bombs, protecting bosses and spawning more or less salmonids. So while drizzlers are easy to fix in the middle of a game, slamming lids are a lot harder and you should lure them as best as possible when they spawn rather than trying to fix them later as that's going to prove harder. As I said, both of these you can practice a lot in the tutorial on how they work. And I also recommend checking out Salmon Learn, where you can use the Drizzler simulator to test how Drizzlers would move and what their patterns would be and what range they are aggressive in. If you're new here and after Big Run you would like to learn more Salmon Run, join our community Discord where you can play with fellow coworkers and also learn a bunch of neat tricks, but the rest of my channel is also full of useful resources. Thank you so much for joining for this short video, I'll be back to full as soon as possible, I'm mostly trying to sleep after all the Big Run overtime, and I'll also return with Salmon Report as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you the next time.